What's up bloggers? I just had to show you this. It is so cool. It's seriously blown my mind. Popcorn has just recently had a new update which allows you to add these really really cool things in which are called patterns. I'm going to show you exactly how to in this video. So if you don't know already, Popcorn theme is effectively a theme that you can use to build your website uh, for blogging. Imagine a theme that's designed to make blogging easier and quicker and just simpler to do on a whole. You pay once and you get the Popcorn theme forever. Unlimited uses on as many websites as you like, constantly updated with new interesting features. It's just the best theme out there. I've used loads of themes and this is the one that you need to use for your WordPress blogging sites. I do have an affiliate link in the description if you want to check that out. So I was testing out AI generated content uh, like yesterday and I decided to make this WordPress themes. Are they too complicated? And this was kind of directed at a few WordPress themes I've used in the past and how they've just got simpler since using popcorn. So it's nice. It's a decent blog. I've, I've changed a few bits here and there. It was initially like AI generated content, but then I kind of took a few things out, reread it and just made it a little bit better. Now, going off that, it's still a little bit kind of hard to read. I'm one of those people who sees a wall of text and I'm like, I duck, dodge and hide all at once. Uh, so what I would like to do is make this stand out a little bit more. To do this, I would need to use the edit post feature. And this is where the new updates from Popcorn come in. It is so awesome. I'm really excited. I know you guys are going to absolutely love this because I know I love this. So first is first to check this out. I just you need to have a empty section of your website. Click on this plus symbol right here and block and then click on the browse all. And then here where you typically just see all of the WordPress blocks for your site, you actually have a new section called patterns and patterns is like a pre-generated block content. So, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Uh, so you can effectively put things in like pre-generated table of contents that Popcorn's already got. So in this instance, uh, say I want a kind of a red table of contents already pre-built with styles. It's got like the popcorn style to it. I can have that in there if I want to. If I want to get rid of that, I can easily do so. And you can literally just do that. It's table of contents. And I can just put one in like so. It's pre-built by popcorn. So it's in the exact style that I want to see. It's so awesome. It's genuinely amazing. So that's now in there. Now, if I want to get rid of some of this stuff for any reason, I can just literally do so. I just click it and get rid of it. I love this though, because it's got like a slight shadow to it which makes it really stand out as a unique feature of your site i love that now i am still suffering from you know there's blocks of text here i need i need something to stand out a bit more so i'm going to choose a sentence that i really want to get the value across to the audience so let's have a look okay i really like the sentence i've done this myself literally spent three days looking for a theme to suit my sites that was until i stumbled across the popcorn theme and since then i haven't looked back i love this little sentence that's a really nice little sentence and i'm going to go ahead and look on the browse all feature go to patterns and then i'm going to go down to the general uh popcorn and you can see all the various different things you've got do's and don'ts and things like this there's honestly so much i'm struggling to keep up i discovered this feature from watching uh, wp's video i alex's video on popcorn video on the popcorn YouTube channel, loved it. And the second I saw it, I immediately opened up an email to uh, the developer and I just said, oh, this is so amazing. Thank you for this. Uh, so let's have a look. I want to look at the popcorn alerts. I really like this popcorn alerts. This is like a feature that I've used already. Like I've done it so many times on some of my sites since finding this feature and I love it every single time. So blue, this is like a just a it's just a blue box effectively, but it's like an alert message uh, and going off colors that it's depending on what you want the message to be about. So in this instance, I actually want to put that in there because this is a sentence I want to really stand out. So I stick that in there and I, I'm going to probably actually make something a little bit more. I'm going to bring more attention to a section of this. I just don't know which section. I've done this myself. Literally spent three days looking for a theme to suit my sights. That was until I stumbled across the popcorn theme. And since then, I haven't looked back. Boom. I love that. That's nice. So when you come to the site, you immediately see this awesome table of contents. And then you see this 
this really useful little message. Your eyes pop out. There's no more blocks of text. It really breaks it up. Now, say we're, this is a guide post where we need to put a basic guide of, of various things you need to do for this niche. We can actually add a do's and don'ts here as well, which is pretty cool. So add block, go to browse all, go to patterns, and then go down to popcorn general. And then you can actually add in a do's and don'ts. And there's loads of different styles of this. I'm going to go for the clean style. And this actually just has a do's and don'ts already pre-built in there, which I think is actually really cool. That's kind of, I might put a little, uh, one of these bad boys in there. There you go, do's and don'ts. And you can change these to anything you want. Do listen to Theo Ramwell. Do subscribe. Do buy the popcorn theme. Don't use boring themes. Don't waste money on expensive themes. Don't waste time looking for any more themes. Oh, hold on. Let's add in here and do get back to blogging. There you go. And we've got some do's and don'ts for people who are just looking to get blogging. There we go. And it, see, it's starting to stand out. We turned quite a boring post here into something that's starting to stand out a bit more. Now, say we've got a post where uh, we've got an Amazon product or something like that. We can actually add that in with this patterns feature as well, which is pretty incredible. Uh, so let's go ahead and click that plus, then go to browse all and then go to patterns. And then at this point, we can look at the products, the popcorn products. Really, really like this. I've stuck this on one of my sites already. And you get to kind of choose between what you want to see. There's loads of different like versions of this. They've been so diligent with how they've gone ahead and produced this. So you can go for this one and it automatically puts that in there. You can change this image if you want to. You can, I saw Alex do this where he just got rid of that and he put an HTML link instead. So if you put custom HTML and then you put a Amazon image link in there, it will actually put the image of that Amazon product there instead, which is quite a clever thing to do. And then something else, you can change this to add the unique selling point, the USP for that particular item. You can change the title just like so. And then you add some like just typical benefits for that. If you don't like having two buttons, uh, then you can get rid of one. It's quite simple. This is now a kind of a bit of an odd position. So I'm just going to move that to the left a little bit. And you can change this to check price on Amazon. Now it's going to make it a bit too big. So what I do is I just make the button a little bit bigger and uh, it works again. It's entirely up to you <laughs> what you want to have on there. That's pretty cool. I really like that feature. Now I'm going to go ahead and just delete this block. See, unfortunately at the moment, I'm being a bit of a sausage and I'm deleting individual components from within the block, which I don't need to be doing. Just going to press Control Z to undo that. What I can do is literally just keep pressing this until you get to the outer group, which eventually allows you to delete it all. Uh, but to get around that, you can just use the uh, the document overview here and you can just do it that way. It's quite, quite cool. So you see the group and we can just delete it like that. Uh, press the delete on your keyboard or you can just go to the three dots and delete like that. There's loads of different ways of doing the same thing on this. Wonderful. So that's done. Now, say you get to the end of your post and a lot of the time, especially when you're using AI generated content, it always writes a conclusion. And I'm not going to lie, the conclusion tends to be pretty boring. So I tend to rewrite the conclusion every time myself. If I'm ever using AI content, I do have uh, three writers. I'm starting to outsource a little bit more on Fiverr and Upwork. Uh, so that stuff isn't AI generated and usually has amazing like uh, conclusions and outros and things like that. So don't tend to need to do that for that. This actually makes the outro look really good. Good. So you can type in conclusion if you want to get the shortcut version there, or you can go again to the browse all feature, go to patterns and then go to the popcorn general and you can click on conclusion. There you go. And this has generated a specific conclusion with a bunch of like, you know, random text here. So we can get rid of that text and we can probably just copy 99% of that, put that here. And then what I'm going to do actually is take that section here, what to do in a nutshell and put that there. Lovely jubbly. Look how fantastic that is. Isn't that cool? I really like that. So that looks so much nicer. Hold on. There you go. I was going to say, why did that do that? Okay. What to do in a nutshell. So it really just draws your eyes in. But say we're at this point and we're like, well, what about if I want to link to other articles? Well, let's, let's have a look at that as well. That's a great idea. So again, we go to popcorn. Let's go to general and we can have a look through what, you know, is potentially here. You may also like, I'm going to go for the blank one. 
and it actually links up some of my posts as well automatically just like that so this is going to create perfect interlinking throughout my site without me having to even go through the palaver of actually adding this in isn't that incredible now if you want to specify what's included here you can say sticky post included excluded you can create a filter so for me i could use a keyword popcorn and now it will only include specific things mentioning the popcorn theme which is pretty cool actually and i could go ahead and actually um, include extra posts so i could have like five posts instead and it does all five which is so cool i love it so in the space of literally just a few minutes i've been able to transform this rather boring looking blog into something that actually looks quite exciting something that people will click and they will want to actually read so check out popcorn theme if you are a blogger and you're just getting a little bit sick of wasting your time dealing with your site making your site look pretty with all these complicated themes and and plugins and page builders and you're just looking to simplify your life a bit more and get back to what you're good at which is blogging check out the popcorn theme i wasted hours if not days of my life dealing with random themes which is why i feel feel so passionate about the popcorn theme. So thanks for watching. Remember to hit that like button and click subscribe. Really, really appreciate it. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.